Hi, I'm Stephanie Couture, and I'm a video editor by day and screenplay writer by night. I've always wanted to write a story like The Ghost of Mrs. Mirror. It was a movie in the 40s, then a TV series in the 60s, so I decided to write a modern adaptation of it. I submitted my screenplay into a fan fiction film festival and won. As a winner, Wild Sound recorded actors reading a scene for my script, and that inspired me to get actors together to read the full script. Here's a first look at my screenplay, The Sea Captain's Cottage. Marilyn, 40s, and her daughter Jess, 20s, are driving to their new home in Maine. Exterior Sea Captain's Cottage Day. The GPS says, your destination is on the right. So Marilyn takes a right onto a dirt road through the woods. It's a long winding path that eventually opens up to the two-story cottage. It has a wraparound porch, a balcony off the second floor that looks over the ocean on the hill. The windows are boarded up and the lawn is full of weeds. Interior car, main, day. Jess anxiously stares at the house while Marilyn smiles ear to ear. They see a man standing in front of his car. What did you do? Exterior, Sea Captain's Cottage Day. The realtor, Henry, smiles nervously. Marilyn and Jess step out of the car. Ah, you must be Mrs. Muir. They shake hands. Marilyn is fine. This is my daughter, Jess. He shakes her hand. She nods with a faint smile. Daughter? Well, that's hard to believe. Jess slightly coughs and rolls her eyes. Marilyn gives her a dirty look. Well, Marilyn, what'd you think? I think it's everything I ever wanted. Since when? Marilyn ignores her. Has it really not been touched in over a hundred years? Over a hundred years? Yep, that's true. He peeks at the car and sees their bags. You weren't thinking about staying here, were you? Yeah. Why? Well, it, it's not in ship shape, if you get my meaning. You just don't know what you'll find in there. Also, there's no electricity. What? Marilyn, we need to find a hotel or something. I knew there was a possibility we couldn't stay the first night, but let's look inside and see what we have to work with. Exterior Sea Captain's Cottage Day moments later. Henry gets his tools and starts to take down the boards on the front porch, showing perfectly intact windows. Have you lost your mind? I might have. Did your check go through? We can just back out and leave now. Let's at least look inside first. He's going through all of this trouble. Just then, the last wooden plank falls, and Henry opens the front door. Ah, here we go. I haven't even seen the inside of this place. <laughs> kind of excited. Marilyn laughs, slightly flirty. Jess gives her the side eye. <laughs> Interior Sea Captain's Cottage, Entrance, Day. The door creaks open, and the sunlight fills the room with an orange glow. The dust and cobwebs fill every corner of the space. The furniture and little knickknacks are untouched. It is like a time capsule with a distinct smell of a man's perfume. The walls are white with dark planks of wood across the ceiling. To the left of the door is the kitchen, and to the right is the living room, and straight ahead are stairs with a wide dark brown banister. Above them is a chandelier, made from the ship's helm and half-melted candles. The paint on the walls is chipped, showing the dark wood underneath. They walk in slowly, looking around for any unexpected surprises. I forgot. Here, uh, I brought masks. Henry passes them around. Interior Sea Captain's Cottage Living Room Day. They stop dead in their tracks. In front of them is a fireplace with a large painting of a sea captain. Marilyn is captivated by his eyes, piercing through the painting. His beard wraps around his full lips, his hair is like the color of sand, and his uniform? Well, Marilyn loves a man in uniform. Who's that? I didn't tell you. Uh, that's the previous owner. He built this house uh, before killing himself. The man who built this house was a sea captain? He killed himself? Henry walks a little further into the house. Jess and Marilyn stay behind. Marilyn turns to Jess. I know it needs work, but look at all the character. If we start cleaning now, I bet we could stay here tonight. Look at the stairs. They're broken. She points to the giant hole in the middle of the staircase. You're limber. We can climb up the banister. The typical. Exterior, Sea Captain's Cottage Day. Jess storms outside and throws her mask to the ground. Marilyn runs after her and takes off her mask. <sighs> what do you mean, typical? Like I buy sea captains' homes all the time? Yeah, I better stop that habit. You think you can do whatever you want with no consequences. I feel like I'm the mother in this relationship. That's dumb. Jess widens her eyes. Perfect example. What mother calls their child dumb? I didn't say you were dumb. I said that statement was dumb. No. The word dumb is a dumb way to describe your feelings. But this, to put in your words is dumb. I'm not helping you clean this place. Nope. I'm going to the beach until you decide we're leaving. 
Jess grabs a blanket out of the car and walks down to the beach. Henry slowly approaches Marilyn. You all right? Peachy, do you know any cleaners around here? Follow me here if you want to get notified when I finally share my first feature screenplay.